So here is the little wand. We did charge it earlier today using the USB-C port. So to turn it on, you have to hold the button down. So you have to hold it down for a little bit longer than expected. You can spin it like this on your finger if you want. Which is kind of cool. Now to open up the valve, you have a little, I mean, open the, the sword, you have a little button you press. It opens this. Um, it doesn't come out like spring loaded, it just kind of sits there. And then to launch the actual sword, you shake it like that. And then every time you hit it on something, it makes a cool noise and it flashes. Um, I have noticed that each time you shut it off and turn it back on, it comes on with a different color. So this time it's green. Well, like a teal green, I guess. It doesn't really extend all the way unless you pull it. That's kind of a negative. And it makes this, the same noise all the time, no matter what color it is. It's kind of cool. So it does have this little circle on the back and it comes with a device, a little coupler. So if you get two of these, you can put, you know, put their ends to each other and make it a double ended sword. Let's turn it off and turn it back on, see what color we get next time. And so now we're blue. Um, I haven't seen anything other than blue and green, so let's see. I don't know if there is a red. Nope, still blue. Blue again. Last three blues in a row. And the speaker, the speaker is here. If you, um, the speaker's right here. If you put your hand over it, it does get really quiet. Actually, it's on this side. So you can hardly hear it. Okay, now we got green this time. Oh, found red. Oh, so I guess when you press the button, it does change colors. Purple, white, blue, green, red, teal, yellow, purple, white, blue, green, red, teal. So it seems to go in a particular pattern. Hey, anyway. I mean, for a less than $20 item, it's a pretty good little item. I don't know how long this will survive, but maybe your little kid might like it. Thanks.